Stop recording video button. Hello everyone. Okay, I'm going to start gluing down the back or the inside to the uh, elephant outside. So what I'm going to use is uh, rubber cement. Uh, it works really good and it keeps the uh, leather supple after it dries and gets all where it needs to be, I guess you could say. So we will go ahead and do that. So let me put the let me put the phone down, of course. Let's see, where's my little bracket? There we are. Okay. Tilt left. Tilt left. Level. There we go. Okay. See if we can get started here. And now we will glue down. Glue some of this down pretty good. Get it started. Right there in the corner. Try to go. Oops. Glue is not my funnest thing to work with. <laughs> but it has to be done. Some of the glue that's really good that contacts them in, I guess you could say, is it's a uh, glue that a lot of shoe repairmen use, and it's called Jet Set. Really, really nice stuff. But I don't know what they use. I guess they use the Tanner's uh, Bond stuff that I'm using now. The Tanner's Bond from Tandy. It's not too bad. Let's get this even right here. Good thing about the, uh, I'll try to tighten it a little, stretch it so it'll nice and even all the way across. Good thing about the uh, Tanner's Bond is that you can take it apart if needed and re-glue or adjust or whichever, which is really nice. Okay, let me move that. Got a thread in the way. There we go. Move that up a little. Okay. Let's roll this up some. Get it out of the way. All right. <clears throat> this is the interior section of my little um, what do you call it the, the flap flap holder and I'm going to glue on both sides here and over here but not on the the flap itself that way it can slide up and down so let's see if we can get this one first now let me see if I can turn it around maybe it'll be a little easier since we glued that first one already yeah, it might be a little bit easier. Okay, unroll this and lay it under there, like so. Sorry, my workspace is limited. I've got my little other sewing machine right here. So it's in the way. But that's all right. All right, let's see if we can get this just about done here. Okay, we got about an inch. Inch and a half. Yes, sir. underneath there to make sure it all snugs up. Leave a little extra there right here just in case. You don't want to glue that in if you don't have to. Okay, let me roll that up and get that a little snug. Get the glue off my fingers. There we go. I'll just lay it out and tug on it a little so it'll tighten up and get solid. Go to that area. There we go. Let 
when this thing glues down, you don't want it to be creasing right in the middle. So you kind of snug it, kind of pull on it, let it tighten up, get all the wrinkles out. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, do that upper half. Yeah, Tanner's Bond is really good when you're working with stuff and after it dries real good, it keeps the uh, leather nice and supple. It doesn't harden up like the contact cement. Starting to get quite a few people looking at the uh, previous videos, and I appreciate that. It's a blessing to be able to do this and enjoy doing what I, I love. And yeah, I've been getting quite a few subscribers, which is a blessing. A lot of likes. That's also a excellent thing that I'm doing something right so thank you all thank you very much I do appreciate it thank you to YouTube for letting this happen be able to have a place to to show and to enjoy Because it's entertainment for you guys and myself in other videos that I watch. Okay, we got a little, a lot of areas that aren't glued, but that's okay. We can do that right quick. And here. Just like that. Kid skin is so pretty, to, nice to work with, and it's a pretty leather, good skin. Okay, let's get a little bit in there. So. Never would have thought I would have enjoyed the Tanner's Bond as much as I do, especially with the uh, projects, but it works really good. I've noticed that the Tanner's Bond's are really sticky compared to the um, contact cement, which, as y'all saw earlier in the videos, that I was able to roll it off <laughs> off my fingers pretty easy. This stuff it gets gets on the table and whatnot. 
that's okay. Not too bad. Okay, I will go ahead and glue the rest of it and get this set up. I just wanted to show you what I use to get this to begin on the uh, interior. Then I will glue down the pockets. I uh, went ahead. And sewed the pockets. I've got these little brackets on there just to hold the leather in place so that when I glue it down, it doesn't move. I'll just put the clip on it. But there's this one, and then this one over here on this side. It's got a pin holder right there, and it's got the uh, ID right there. So it'll come out real nice, be beautiful on the inside. and it's pretty thin so it it but very very durable so that's that's what you want you want thin durable that way it won't be overloaded when you're trying to put your bottle cover or bottle in it and it won't be real bulky and heavy and that's always a, a concern anyway i'll go ahead and start up the next video in a few after i get this set up and we'll see you in a few Thank y'all. See you in a bit. Bye.